Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the AngularJS video tutorials. After a long time, I am recording this video tutorial and uh, I am really really very really sorry for that. Okay, Because I uh, left the recording uh, for a while uh, due to personal reasons. So uh, here guys, I am back. So I am continuing, uh, continuing recording uh, this pending series. Okay and uh, i have a lot more plan for the next <coughs> video series too so that's gonna be awesome uh, awesome next month for us okay so what we are going to see today okay today we are going to see how we can pass the parameters uh, using the uh, routing for the angular chairs okay so first of all i would like to tell you some new things uh, in infologs so first of all uh, this is the infologs dot in here you can get all uh, the video uh, which I have uploaded to my uh, channel web boostings you will see in one location okay so just visit uh, this site or you can also visit the projects if you want to learn the step by step code executions like uh, text to speech or speech to text examples here yeah, I have uploaded all the codes for that okay so the next one and that is github whatever I am uh, recording the tutorials and creating a demo application that will going to upload on this github link okay so anyone wants to download this you can go ahead and download from the github okay and the most and the new thing is this one t dot sorry t dot me slash web boosting this is my new telegram channel okay so you guys are requested to join this install telegram and uh, just search for the web boostings you'll find the channel and just join here I'll uh, give you the notification okay whenever I upload a new video tutorials I'll post it over here too so you will get an instant instant notifications of my latest video tutorials okay and one more thing uh, just uh, install the telegram and search for uh, solve programming issues okay just search this text you will get a one more discussion channel so just join that uh, just join the channels and post your questions so I'll get an instant uh, instant uh, like instant information about your issues and I can we can discuss on that uh, further how we can use all that kind of issues and all that okay so you guys are requested to just uh, join this channel uh, meet or telegram and uh, search for solve programming issues okay you will get a one more discussion channel so you are requested to join that now coming back to the point so what for today's video tutorial today's video tutorial is about how we can pass the parameters to another view or we can say to the another page right or how we can access the uh, parameters from ng route so here is the examples so first of all I would like to tell you about sorry I would like to tell you about the existing examples this is the view program and uh, oops let's make a control F5 so okay this is our last video of uh, last um, tutorials anyone clicks on particular page it will get redirected to and in the code behind what we have seen in our script application JS we have a two different kind of declarations for the controllers here we have used the controller uh, while into the configuration file and we are creating the cont1 in outside the configuration just like this okay and the other one uh, in the configuration route provider configuration we are declaring the controller and inside uh, we are writing a separate controller method okay uh, when we use this kind of structures, uh, suppose you have a single page, just like uh, I want to create an about this page. Okay, so there is not a very uh, 
lots of code on that page or we can say on that controller that in that section i will use this kind of declaration of my controller okay and uh, suppose i have a a lot of code a lot of methods declarations and all that then i have i am not gonna do this kind of stuff in that for that controller okay just go ahead declare a controller and use that in a separate section or you can set a separate file so that will be easy for the management okay okay now what we are going to do we are going to do how we can retrieve the parameters okay passed from a link so first of all i have created a link over here like this let me short it up like this okay suppose i have a link like this and i want to read the last parameter okay this is my parameter or we can say or uh, the query stream okay if you see over here if you focus just down to the like here okay just focus over here so you'll say the whole url like purple one slash 10 okay what is the 10 10 is my id or we can say the parameter okay now whenever i click on this parameter i want to uh, pass that into the my different controller so what what we are going to do first of all i need a page okay so i'll here i'll add a new page called param right just remove all this don't need this i'll copy everything from purple page we will just write down here we don't know this message too okay just this is the reading of params okay so now here i'm gonna add a controller called params params Oops. okay and here i'm gonna access the parameter called id okay and uh, then as usual we need okay and uh, here we'll set the template url that will be params.html then the controller controller will be params controller okay why i'm not writing this kind of controller because i have to write a lot of code okay not a lot of code but i have a two or three more lines for it so i'm adding it on a separate section okay or we can add also in a separate js file but uh, i don't want to do that right now okay and here as usual we need a scope and for that here i have to pass the scope as well scope comma and this and uh, this is okay now what we are going to do just alert hello okay so here what we are doing uh, we have a control param scoop and uh, we need to take one more extra thing that is a route P-A-R-A-M-S, route params, okay, and just receive this parameter as uh, here, oops, what's going on here, just click here and route parameter, okay, and now we will remove this, hello, we don't know this, we don't need this, right, and what we are, whatever we are sending from our URL, like uh, here and uh, in our parameters we are reading this ID okay so okay if the URL is like this then this one and this one should be the equal right 
so I think everything is done. Let's test it. Hope it should work properly. Control F5. Okay. The URL is generating properly, but I forgot to update the proper one to what we are decided in controller that is params. Okay. So in my next page, I need to pass it as params. Again, make it refresh. Ah, everything is correct. Params 10. Now, whenever I click on this link, I need to get an alert with the past information. Exactly. We got that. Okay. So, well, the next task is we want to display that ID over here. Okay. With our from this channel page. Now, how we can get that? It's very simple, guys. Okay, if you have watched my earlier videos, you can definitely understand how we can do that. Okay, it's very simple, guys. So here I'll use my scope parameter dot id. Okay, equals. I can say the let's say employee id. Okay, and then we are going to pass this id to our scope parameter. Okay, and now as usual. Will access this here scope dot dollar scope scope dot empire ID. Now let's get back, make it refresh, and click on this. Uh, still, we are not getting this. Okay, what the problem? Let's check that. Okay, here purple. Purple is the message, and where is the message? Message is declared. Uh, yeah, scope dot message is here. So over here also, over here also. Okay. Then why is not getting updated? Uh, we're writing the right things. Mm -hmm. We are receiving this parameter in our controllers and uh, CMT two. Oops. Probably. Don't need this. Just access to racket. Got it. Okay. Now, assignments for you guys. Okay. Uh, just stop this video. Video tutorial. Just I'm not stopping. I'm just pausing this video tutorial. Okay. So I'm requesting you to pause this video tutorial right now. Uh, after the uh, completion of my sentences, right, and then just think how we can pass multiple parameters uh, using this link. Okay, now I want to pass the ID and name as well. Okay, so can you can you check that and uh, come back up for uh, after uh, ten minutes, or we can say five minutes. It's not a big task for you guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I hope you guys have uh, done this R&D. Now I'm gonna show you how we can pass the multiple parameters in this URL. Okay, it's very 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 easy, guys. Okay, suppose this is the one controller. Okay, now what we are going to do? We are going to do like ID, and I want to access a name as well. So I'll access name. Okay, so or we can say we do not know this or that we are access this. The same controller, the same URL. Okay, but the URL is going to different. If anyone wants to pass the ID, then this controller will access. If anyone wants to, anyone has passed the multiple parameters, then this one is called. Or we can say you can also differentiate the different controllers over there to access the different uh, action to perform the different action, right? So here I'm gonna use the same controller. So I'll receive this here, and the other one parameter is uh, the name one. But so I'll just write down a name over here, the name, okay? And the e -M -B -L -O -L -O -Y. instead of employee, ID, we'll write down it as employee name, okay? So in our program.html.
and that is ID is this and name is this okay let's see what happens okay I got the name blank and then I'll pass the name as well I'll got the name as well okay guys I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial if you want to watch more video tutorial like this just don't forget to subscribe this channel okay uh, just go to the webboostings.com and uh, watch this playlist playlist inside you will find different kind of playlist okay and if you don't want to uh, see all my videos tutorials on youtube because there are lots of video tutorials and you don't know which to follow okay so for that one i have created a website called infolog.in where you will get all my video tutorials at a single place for the different language, different platforms, whether it's Android, it's a PHP, it's a phone app, it's a HP or whatever you want. Okay? Uh, and if you want to do if you want to see the examples with the code by code structure, you can also see the example as well. Okay? And uh, as usual, this code will go going to upload on the GitHub website. So if you want to download this code, you can uh, access it from the GitHub. And don't forget to join on Telegram. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can post it on uh, my YouTube uh, video uh, via commenting, or you can also uh, post it on Telegram channel as well. Okay, the second, this is my channel. I'll upload a video over here too. And the second is the discussion channel that is to solve programming issues. Okay, so whatever you, issues you're facing, you are, are just join this group and post your issues you will try to solve that issues instantly okay for you guys for free okay so so then um, wait for my next video to the next video tutorial on angle js till then guys bye bye